You've got to tune to the afternoon show. It is listener-powered KEXP. Kevin Cole with you. And I'm down in the performance space with Miko Yoensu. Uh, welcome to KEXP. Thank you. Thank it, you so much. It is great having you here. Um, you are playing your first shows in the U.S. You're here uh, to play the grand opening of the Nordic Museum tomorrow night. Yeah. And uh, we are very excited uh, to have you here in Seattle. And uh, then you're also doing a couple shows while you're here in the States. Uh, May 7th, you're playing at the, uh, the Love Song Bar in L.A. And then on May 9th, The Secret Project Robot in New York. Yeah, and pianos. Yes. Oh, and pianos. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, speaking of pianos, you're sitting in front of a piano and a keyboard and a computer and some other instrumentation. How about a couple songs? And then we will talk... Uh, yeah. A little bit about your history and about the Amen trilogy and any uh, uh, other works you've got uh, coming out. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. It's great having you here. Great to be here. Mighty even. 
Today just might be the very end of an era Oh, the next one will be blessed with some days that are much fairer There's a different song for the ones that are alive A different tone for the ones that are deceased This road Leads to the ruins of the city I was born Where God don't exist and all hope is forlorn Oh, I got so very blind here to see But I don't mind as long as I feel free And you may call me a thief and a liar My redemption is cast in the depths of the fire I guess I've been burned over a thousand times before And I keep burning over a thousand times more
I got devil on my right side, got devil on my left And God himself protect me from the leeches round my neck For the sins of my own, I'm bound to be alone And like most, I'm a sinner to the bone And I waited for an absolution, but it never came Got way too many sins within the blood inside my veins Evergreen grass wasn't green enough for me But I don't mind as long as I feel free And you may call me a thief and a liar My redemption is cast In the depths of the fire I guess I been burned over a thousand times before And I keep burning over a thousand times more I'm just a lucky man, my soul will never drown Searching from the endless sea until the glory is found Now I'm sinking with stones around my neck And down here you only get what you can get And you may call me a thief and a liar My redemption is cast in the depths of the fire I guess I've been burned over a thousand times before But I don't mind No, I don't mind Biko Yoensu at the piano live on KEXP. First performance on U.S. soil from Helsinki, Finland. Two songs from Amen One, part of the Amen trilogy. You heard Thief and a Liar and Enjoy It While It Lasts. That line, when summer comes, people can forget uh, they exist for a while. Mm. Seems like such a, a, a great line for someone living in a, a, a very northern country where it's very dark in the winter. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess it works for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and that, uh, that uh, oppressive feeling of that darkness. But I know it's about a bunch of other things. Um, I want to back up before we get into the Amen trilogy. Uh, the first album came out in 2016. You were in a band called Yoenzu 1685, put out your debut album in 2008. Yeah. And it was a very noisy record, uh, really shoegazer, psychedelic, indie rock. And you were in that uh, band with your brother and, uh, and a, uh, another musician whose last name was Yoansu. Yes. And uh, um, then Amen One came out in uh, 2016. Yoansu 1685 broke up in 2011. What happened during that period of time? And when did you start working on the songs that would uh, be part of the Amen trilogy? Um, I guess I started writing 
writing these songs already maybe 2008. I um, obviously I didn't know no well I um, I wrote songs for Joensuu 1685 and then I had songs that didn't really feel like the songs of that band and after we uh, stopped playing I I guess ever since I've been well I I write music all the all the time I guess so Ever since 2008, I, w- I would say. So you were you were writing these songs that you didn't feel worked for the band, um, and just uh, kind of putting them away on their own. Were you write, recording demos of them at that time, or just kind of writing them down? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess, like like with many people these days, uh, you know, all the demos are might be a part of some some recording. Yeah, and and I have a bad memory, so it, it's it helps helps to record s- stuff yeah. down if you can remember where to find it. Yeah, exactly. I I I don't have a good system for that yet. Um, so, what made these songs different from what you were doing with the band? I guess in the in the beginning, the songs were more more stripped down. Maybe maybe played with a guitar or acoustic guitar or just more more like folk songs and it didn't really even occur occur to me that they might work with with the band and and maybe the first album from these amen amen albums maybe the first one is uh, is has mo- most of the songs that i wrote in maybe while we were playing with the band, but after that, um, I guess I've been. There's also music that we could have played. Yeah, yeah. the first album, Amen One, is maybe the most radical departure in that uh, they're very stripped down or they're very mournful. Some of them are like the first song you played, uh, almost soulful country, kind of like the band, and then there's glimpses of Leonard Cohen or just really mournful twang. Like, uh, do you know the artist Jimmy Dale Gilmore? No, he's great. I'll uh, I'll get you some of his music. I think Thank you. I think you'll 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 like him. So I knew some of your early stuff from from way back when, and then uh, didn't make the connection until you know I heard a song from Amen Two, which is, was pretty much a rocker, and I went to that and Amen One, which was so radically different, and Amen Three, which is even more different. So you got kind of these stripped down or more uh, acoustic uh, or. I don't know. I don't know if mournful is the right mm. word. I don't know how that resonates with you. Yeah, the, it's a it's a mournful record, I guess. Yeah, and and then um, and then then there's kind of more rock uh, uh, and kind of a little more sense of relief on the second record. And, but what what impressed me was, man, that you could do these incredible, almost country tinged uh, songs, and then soulful country type songs, and then you could do a twenty minute epic space rock jam that was just droney and feedback drenched, like really uh, broad spectrum of sounds. Your sonic palette is super broad, as well as the range of emotions you hit. I was lucky to be able to see you five times last year, more than any other artist. That's a lot. (laughs) Yeah, I've seen you strip down on piano, and I've seen you with, like, a band where I couldn't count how many people you had in the band. There were just so many, at least 12 at at that club in uh, Helsinki that was amazing. Um, So tell me about... I I know on those albums, uh, you really grapple with some internal conflicts about your religious upbringing and your relationship with faith or with God. Mm -hmm. And... Is that how those early songs started? And is that part of the reason you kind of put them off to the side? Were you just kind of dealing with that and working through it? And... No, I, I think I think I did. I might have done that with 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 the band as well, but I've never I, I never thought about what what sort of songs I'm 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 writing or what what subjects I'm writing about. I. I guess they they felt felt good like that, and then maybe after <clears throat> after the I, I came up with more songs, I realized that okay, there's there's actually this is becoming becoming a theme. 
but I didn't think that okay, I'm contemplating yeah. my my trouble with troubles with with God with these songs, and they they maybe just happen happen to go like that. Yeah, you didn't start out going, hey, I think I'm going to spend the next five years. Uh, Agonizing over uh, yeah, the existence. Yeah, exactly, it's not it's not a good idea. Any, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yeah, and coming up with a concept uh, record or trilogy, one of which mm. is a double album. So the sheer volume of music is amazing. Um, and you play most of the instruments, right, on the albums? Or yeah, yeah. I get uh, apart from drums and and strings, and of course there's. Uh, 30, 40 member girl choir in <laughs> yeah. in one song, so not that, but but yeah, yeah. I mean, it it's it's a natural thing thing for for me because I like to spend time spend time in my in my studio and and if I come up with an idea, it's it's a lot easier to just to play it with with an instrument than to wait for someone to come and play it but uh, you obviously enjoy collaborating and working with a lot of musicians yeah yeah i, I do and yeah, i i do appreciate uh other people's playing a lot more than my my own it's it's just i don't have the patience to ask them before i record yeah. but but it's been very i've been privileged to play with these these people that that are playing with my band right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the band is absolutely fantastic. And I know when you did the session at Kex Hostel in Reykjavik, there was uh, at least a four-piece string section hmm. that, that I don't think you had played with before. No, no, we met, met I guess, uh, at the same day or the day before. So that takes a lot of trust to, uh, to you, you know, somebody had obviously done arrangements and charted out the music. Yeah, I, I I did the arrangement, but you know, you have string players anywhere, especially in Iceland. You you don't have to worry too much. Yeah, um, it could have been me, but there was one point in that session where, when you were perf- playing live with them, that I sensed the this uh, connection with the or deep appreciation of. Uh, what they were bringing to the sound, where the mm. song seemed to just take off and lift, and it almost seemed to kind of surprise or propel you in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it happens almost every every time if if you hear hear the strings, um, and it's the same with well, especially strings because you don't rehearse with strings too often. It's usually the case that you come come to the place where you're gonna perform and. Then the strings come and then like, oh, oh, oh my god! Yeah, transcendent. Yeah, <laughs> Miko Yoensu live here on the afternoon show. The Amen trilogy uh, came out in 2016, 2017. Now I understand that you never e- really intended to release the music. Mm. Was yeah. was it at some point that you realized that you had all these great songs um, and that uh, there was a theme and? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I. Uh, yeah, there was a moment when I when I realized that okay, there's actually three albums. This was in January 2013. I remember just waking up to the fact that okay, these are the songs and this is the 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 thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um for you, is there a different sort of emotional quality to Amen 1, Amen 2, Amen 3? Did you put the songs together that way? And if so, we just heard two songs from Amen 1. If you wanted to sort of describe what you felt about that album or those songs, and uh, I know you're going to play a song from AM, Amen 2 in a sec, mm. and how that was different for you. Yeah. Yeah, I... <clears throat> I think, like you said, the first one is pretty mournful, and it's more more like maybe <sighs> contemplating or something. Not sure what 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 it is, and maybe 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 the the second one. 
holds a certain certain amount of re relief. It's it's a it's a happy album, I guess. I guess, and yeah, yeah. And the the third one, I I always always wanted to wanted to keep keep open keep an open mind that I'm not sure what what the what the theme of the third one is. I I know I knew how how it, I knew the colors of the the album, but I I wasn't sure how the how they would be constructed. Is leaving it open uh, also sort of where you landed on um, your journey with your contemplation or your relationship with a higher power? Yeah, yeah. I guess that's that's one one thing also that when you uh, I I because because you know the thing about believing something it's so it's so so strong. And you you have you have to have some sort of ideas and 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 ways how you should think. So I guess what you don't want to do after leaving that behind is have a certain idea about something else. Being so, equally rigid about. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not it, saying that it's it's okay to say that something isn't quite cl clearly true, and some other things are, but. Of course, it's it's not it's not black and white, but but yeah, yeah. That I guess it's more more the the emotional side. It's uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's if it's it, it, well. I'm sure it's not happy and not not um, it's not good or bad. It, yeah, it just is. It just is. Miko Yoensu live here on the afternoon show playing the grand opening of the Nordic Museum tomorrow night, which is sold out, and then uh, a show in L.A., and uh, next week a couple shows in New York. Do you mind uh, playing a song from Amen too? Yes, I would love to. Oh, no. 
that might free all those ties that keep you in the darkness of your own mind. Well, there ain't nobody here now, but only the sound of silence that we all ought to find. Maybe it's time for you to realize There's some hope that's holding on In your bloodshed eyes So when you know everything You have now become You say, what have I done? What have I done? to be the sun you say what have I done 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 So when I'll know everything I have now become I say what have I done, what have I done, oh what have I done And there's a hole in where there used to be the sun I say what have I done what have I done? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh, what have I Miko Yoensu, live on the afternoon show here, KEXP. That's a song that's from Amen to What Have I Done? Again, Miko playing the grand opening of the Nordic Museum tomorrow night, sold out show. Then at the Love Song Bar in LA on May 7th, May 9th at Secret Project Robot in New York, also uh, at Pianos in New York. So if you're listening out on the East Coast or in New York, man, that have an opportunity to check out uh, Miko playing some of the material from Amen, the Amen Trilogy. All right. Um, I think we get to uh, hear a previously unreleased song. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> if you want. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> of Excellent. Uh... 
line The point when I went blind Whatever thoughts I'll find a Whatever did survive I'll put it back in place and time From where I'll trace my mind And I'll keep on dreaming About all the wasted years And I'll keep forgiving Myself for years to come I'll take a pill to fall asleep I'll take a pill to rise And spend the daytime in my dreams In where I'll trace my mind But I waste my time And I've lost my mind It's hidden from my sight And when the years will pass me by I hope I'll chase my mind
Thank you. Thank you. Miko Yoansu, live on the afternoon show here on KEXP, an unreleased song, I Waste My Time, the name of that track. And um, is that a new, a new song? Mm, not really, no. It could have been on the Amen trilogy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually wrote, wrote that song for, uh, for the record, record release concert. <sighs> of Amen One, which we we had in in this very nice 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 church in Helsinki. And uh uh since we started started rehearsing the songs with the 
church organs. Uh, this this song felt like that. The, well, uh, I came came up with this song at the same at the mood of that yeah. time, and I just managed to get it done before before the concert. I, c- I could hear that piano part as a uh, as a church organ. Yeah, it was pretty huge. Uh, yeah, do you plan on recording that? Yeah, yeah, I guess guess that's uh, no. well, obviously at some point. Yeah. Given that the Amen trilogy it really is about your uh, internal conflict and your, you know, dealing with your religious upbringing and then your relationship with your faith, what was it like to play in a church? Uh, and especially songs from Amen 1 that really deeply question the, I guess, the existence of God, if you want to just put it really... Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't It wasn't a big deal, yeah. big deal for me. <laughs> Because uh, I, I guess because I, I, I'm not I'm not used to being in big churches. I'm more like a like a small Pentecostal church kind of kind of goer. <laughs> so it seemed more more like a rock venue. Like yeah, rock yeah, venue. it was it was something something like that, and uh, and not even that, but but I guess I mean uh, churches are just the the they're amazing places. And uh, especially, especially sound-wise, just you know, screams that you have to. Well, every everything just sort of lifts up in there. So it was very ni- nice in in many 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 other ways. I, I didn't think about that too much. Yeah. So um, when you finished the Amen trilogy, you said. That, uh uh, you, uh, it feels like a relief to sit at an empty table and just ask myself, what song is it I'd like to hear now? Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm still, still <laughs> at that same feeling. <laughs> still sitting at that table. Um, what are you doing next? So what, what's, what do you... Well, I, I, uh, I, ha- I have a lot of, lot of new, new music, but I, I'm, I'm postponing the moment when I start recording them because it's it's sort of a um, bounding thing to start recording and start making making new new well recordings which become albums but at the moment I I think I'm pretty pretty ready to actually start make and excited to start making new new music well, so are we. Um, do you uh, mind playing one last song? Yeah. Something yeah. from Amen 3? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try try something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate it. It's Mikko Juanzo here live uh, on the afternoon show KXP in town to play the grand opening of the Nordic Museum uh, tomorrow night. Sold out shows. I mentioned uh, Miko traditionally uh, or more recently plays with like a... I don't know. Uh, again, last time I saw you, it was like a 12-piece band. Your band is fantastic. We wanted to get them all here. Um, and uh, we'll keep that dream alive. Hopefully that can happen someday because it would yeah. be great to have you here in Seattle with the full band. And, and uh, I really appreciate you, uh, y- you know, just coming out to be a part of the, uh, the grand opening and also, you know, the challenge of playing these songs in a different format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to try it. I, I I guess you get bored if you don't try something something new so I I'm I'm going to try something I haven't played before and I it's it's been different every time I've played it so we'll see what happens this time Cool I like that Miko you want to here on KXP
for a God made a word. He's shown in the sounds only wise men have heard. He made a woman out of bone and a man out of dirt. Oh, so I Sadness filled eyes Trying so hard to act paralyzed It was not long Till I realized That he's not made Out of flesh nor bone He's an idea the wonders and roams He's a voice that does not sing but moans A trombone producing unknown tones So lift up your voice For it's time to rejoice I was told with a smile as if I had a choice We've all a right to be purified Well it ain't even close to what I had in mind But meet me down at the pearl
Miko Yoensu, live on the afternoon show here, KEXP. Live version of Pearly Gates, that song is also on Amen 3, part of the trilogy, Amen 1, 2, 3, that came out uh, 2016, 2017. Man, it was so cool to watch you uh, construct that song live here. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what, well, yeah. It was fun to watch, and I, uh, I don't know, I was just sort of thinking that that must be what it's like when you're working at home. Yeah, yeah, something, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, playing uh, tomorrow night, uh, the grand opening of the Nordic Museum, along with Chelsea Wolf, who's going to be live on the air tomorrow at 1. Uh, uh, Mahmoud from Iceland uh, performing, also Baby in Vain from Denmark. And uh, you're also doing a, a show on Monday in L.A. at the uh, Love Song Bar, and then a couple shows in New York midweek next week. And then are you back to uh, Helsinki? Yeah, that's right. For the uh, Midnight Sun. Yeah, 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 it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, and thanks for having me. Um, it's, yeah. been, it's been very nice to be here. Yeah, it's great having you in Seattle. How's Seattle been so far? Uh, uh, I guess I was, was so tired yesterday and this morning that... No, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. And it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, it has a good vibe. That's what I expected and that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> and you well, have a beautiful new studio. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic. Nice place. Um, again, thank you so much. Uh, big time thanks to Jim, Justin, Ollie on video, Karina taking photographs, Kevin, McHill, Mitch, uh, Cheryl, Kelsey, and to all the donors that make these in studios possible. Miko Yuansu, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm Kevin Cole. This is the afternoon show, KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.